Hi guys, welcome to the channel Absolute Rody. I am Karan and you also know me as Prince. Thanks a lot for uh, uh, watching the last video if you have. Uh, that was a pretty long one. It was nearly 40 minutes long and I really appreciate your patience if you have seen it. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe it. Uh, because the video was too long, I didn't add the small video tour of my bike. Uh, so what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to add that small clip along uh, uh, with this section and you can have a closer look at all the accessories which I've added in the Dana Fat Bob. Having said that, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the crew behind uh, my videos, especially the last one that was pretty long. Uh, I hope you understand to summarize the four year journey would at least take 40 minutes and thanks for your patience once again. Uh, you know, the one who was behind the wheel and the vehicle taking the video shots was my wife Varsha and the one who was behind the lens clicking the pictures was my daughter Hia. Uh, so a bit, big shout out to both Varsha and Hia. And uh, my daughter Hia, she also runs a YouTube channel. Uh, the channel name is uh, Vlog with Hia. I'll add a, uh, you know, a description link for her channel. And if you guys uh, uh, like some entertainment stuff, then please subscribe to the channel. Uh, she's right here with me and uh, she would like to say hello to everyone. Hi guys, my name is Hia. Subscribe to my channel, Vlog with Hia. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. See you. Bye. Take care. Ride safe. Bye. Hi guys, like I promised, I'll take you through a quick tour of my bike. These are the front LED headlamps, followed up with the custom dynamic daytime running indicators, followed up with the fog lamps, and then followed down with the LED daytime running strips. Now the strip lights and the custom dynamic indicator, they both act as indicator, so which gives a strong presence, as you can see. Uh, from If you're someone from, you know, in the rear view mirror is looking at my bike, then they really see, uh, you know, a heavy machine coming and it you know it it you know it gives them a sense of uh, uh, you know vehicle approaching which is a two wheeler so it acts as a safety feature having you know strong headlights in your bike along with other uh, you know drls which creates a strong presence of the bike on the road at the same time now what you see is the front suspension where i have removed the the orange reflector i didn't like it now it has got a much meaner black look this is the aftermarket engine guard which I have where I've mounted the, you know, the fog lamp followed by the LED DRL light. These are the floor boards which have been installed so as to accommodate the forward controls, the engine guard and the floor boards. Followed up with the rear passenger floor boards. So these are also wide enough but these are aftermarket and I'm pretty happy with that. Now what we will cover are the ultimate seats from Canada. I got these seats imported from Canada. Pretty comfortable, awesome backrest, very wide, very comforting seats. So is the rear passenger seat. Now you see the rear passenger seat, it widens from the back, which makes a lot of sense. It gives you a lot of support on your back. And then this is the Wing Custom backrest. This one I have ordered from Brazil. Now this is followed up with the stock tail lamps, which are LED, bright enough, followed up with the uh, custom dynamic rear indicators. Again, they act as uh, tail lights. And then on each saddlebag, I have the skin design strobe lights. Now they flash eight times and then they go bright when I apply brakes. So this creates a full presence of the entire bike from back as well. So anybody, when I, you know, I'm applying brake, would come to know how wide the vehicle is and they can, you know, pass me by side with proper safety. This is the derby cover which I have, now it goes very well with the engine. So it's the same silver lining which you see and that's the rear foot pack for the rider, for the rear passenger. Similarly, what I have is the black cover, the horn cover, okay, I think I did not cover that. So I replaced the, you know, the horn cover as well it comes the stock one comes as chrome which doesn't look nice it goes out of place so is the derby cover because this is again uh, you know slightly aluminium colored you know that matte silverish color which doesn't go well you know all of a sudden in a black bike you see those two parts which are totally out of the place so i've replaced them so that's pretty much it about the bike guys that's the uh, ram mount for the mobile that's the 
front fairing with the audio system. Now that's where the audio system goes in. Let me show you guys. That's the Nakamichi system. Inside the fairing is the Nakamichi amplifier along with the Rockwheel speakers which are marine speakers waterproof and these are two cycle sound speakers now if i am not mistaken the company cycle sound is not operational anymore after the demise of their owner i don't know if you uh, you can check it out and find i don't see any cycle sounds part now being available and this is the odometer which i we have replaced with the stock one right guys and also one more thing okay i didn't cover the kill switch as well this is also four years old this is for the fog lamps. So when I turn them on, fog lamps are on. When I turn them twice, they start acting as blinkers. Right guys, I hope this will help you. I hope this will help you in making a wise decision for your uh, machine. If in case, if you're choosing to buy one, if you already have one, and if you think you are getting bored with it, then there are a lot of accessories which I have covered, which will probably help you to bring your, you know, bring some life back to the bike. Uh, and probably that might be a better and economic way of not, you know, falling in the trap of buying a new Harley Davidson and continuing with Dana Fat Bob. Uh, but having said that, uh, you know, I'm all for it. If you want to upgrade, definitely, you know, don't think much uh, as long as, uh, you know, we, you know, we can upgrade to a newer model, newer bike, a battle mic, a battle touring bike. Just go for it. Or a second bike or a third bike. So, you know, we are all for bikes. Uh, one is not enough, but uh, uh, we can add more value to the bike by adding on accessories. And that's what I've done. So as to get the best out of it. So signing off, guys, with my Dyna Fat Bob Stage 4 upgraded with loads of accessories. And hope to see you on the road soon, guys. See you. Bye.